Good morning. What did y'all think about those loons last night? It was just gorgeous. And I'm sure it didn't come off on the microphone, but their calls echoed off the mountains around here. It's just eerie and amazing. And there was also an owl I heard, saw a shooting star outside my tent as well. Oh, and I was wishing I had a good camera because when I went out in the middle of the night, the stars were amazing. And what was even more spectacular is I had the lake that was real still below it. So I had the stars reflected down in the lake. So I had double celestial skies. It was great. Did it get a little cold in the early morning hours? Yeah. It's amazing how warm it got once the sun came up though. Did the inside of my tent get a little damp with camping right next to the water? Yeah. Would I do it again? For sure. <laughs> that was a lovely tent site. So glad I stayed there. Today we got to hustle a little bit more than yesterday. We're doing 10.3 to Caratunk. We're going to stay at the Sterling Inn tonight, but we've got to get the Kennebec River Ferry by get across by 2 p.m. Very excited about this little canoe crossing. This is another one of those things that I've seen pictures of for so long. I'm very excited to finally be able to do it myself. There's even a white blaze painted in the bottom of the canoe. All right, let's get this day rolling. Oh man, the terrain and the weather are great today. It's only 9.30 and I only have five miles left. We're gonna be there early. Kennebec River Ferry. We're coming for you. Just turn me loose. Let me straddle my own saddle underneath the western skies. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon until I lose my senses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in. Don't fence me in. This stretch of trail is so pretty. We got the water down there. And then we're just walking right along the side of it. Look at this. So nice. Look at this bridge. This should be fun. It got a little wobbly towards the skinny side over here. I could do without the wobble. I think I spy the Kennebec River. I think so. Oh, I see a canoe on the other side. Hmm. 
I see no canoe person. All right. Oh, we gotta fill out some paperwork or that grasshopper's gonna do it for me. My chauffeur is coming. All right. I'm in the canoe, there's Greg. <laughs> Almost there. Indeed, here's the blaze. So funny. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, you're welcome. That was fun. Greg made me work a little bit though. I had to paddle. <laughs> I had to help. So I couldn't film the whole time. There goes the Sobo hiker with Greg. And this beautiful doggie apparently is named Maggie. Greg told me to say hi to Maggie and Maggie heard her name. Hey Maggie, you wanna come talk to me? Yeah, your daddy's doing the canoe right now. He said he'll be right back. I can't believe it. Another thing checked off the list. That ride was too short. I wanna go across again. What do you think, Maggie? Do you wanna go for a ride with me across? We can go over and back, what do you think? Do you wanna play with the stick? I'll play with the stick. Here, hold on. Can I have that stick? Can I have that stick? Give me that stick. Give me that stick, Maggie. Give me it. Give me it. Give me that stick. <laughs> she says, nope, it's mine. It's mine. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm just going to go ahead and say that I'm just a little bit disappointed because there's some comments and gut hooks and someone told me too that if you tip the river guide you get a special surprise. Well, I got nothing. No surprises. I thought at least he was gonna do a little song and dance or something. Here's the Sterling Inn. Looks pretty cute from the outside. Let's go check it out. Aw, little pumpkins. Tis the season. Nice porch. I love porches. Aw, look how cute. It's got its own air conditioner. Oh, hey, there's me. Hi. <laughs> nice. Okay. First things first, laundry, shower. Oh, and they give you a free Coke. Clearly I chose Dr. Pepper. Looking forward to that. Getting some food and some beer. Mmm. Look at those blueberries, yeah. Hello, Moose. Will you please tell your friends on trail to come out and meet me? Thank you. Oh yeah, got a chicken sandwich and poutine fries. Yum, yum, yum. Just got back from the restaurant, but I'll show you this place just a little bit. I wanted to show you this photo. Oh, wait, just kidding. This photo, because this place was built in 1816 and it used to be an old stagecoach stop. Isn't that cool? Before the porch was added. and ceiling. Look at this faucet hardware. It's the real deal still. Well that pretty much completes my day. They have breakfast in the morning so we'll do that before going back to the trail. Unfortunately it's supposed to rain pretty much all day tomorrow and my plan is to stealth camp so I'll be setting up a tent in the rain. So we got to deal with that but that's the way it goes sometimes. Hope you all have a good night. We'll see you in the morning.